I think I'm a different fighter. Since I was a kid, I think I born for something else. I think I'm not here to do what normal people do. Look at this kid! My God! Big elbows by Rodriguez! This kid is something special! I push myself harder than everyone, and I always try to go deeper, deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's what I try to do always. It's in my life, it's in my training, it's in everything, in every sense. So I think that's make me different than other fighters. MMA in Mexico is growing. It's a country that loves fighting. Whatever it is, however it is, they love fighting. They're always coming with me. There are like a thousand, two thousand people around me. We're excited to bring the whole Mexican community on their feet, and that's what we're trying to create here in Chicago. And Yair has what it takes. Yair has two things that most Mexican fighters don't have, and that's English every day, and that's wrestling every day. We know that the Mexican people have a lot of hope in Yair. And uh, we're excited. If they think that uh, those Irish fans are, are uh, crazy and they come by the thousands, then they're going to be in surprise because Yair's going to bring the whole country of Mexico to their feet. I met Yair down in Jackson's MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The UFC brought Mexican fighters down to Jackson's to stay and train for a whole year. Coach Mike Valley built a strong relationship with Yair, working with him for countless hours. We knew he was something special. And um, when we had the opportunity to come to Chicago, immediately we knew we want Yair to come with us. What we offer here in Chicago is a lot of attention to the athletes since we're small. We fully understand MMA because we have that experience through Jackson. I'm the guy who has the attention here, so they can work on me. And one of the things that I like is, is then do we always work hard? One of the major things is he's very young. You know, whenever it's a young kid, I mean, it's very easy to mold. Number one key is discipline, you know, is that, that that's the number one key. I mean, willing to follow orders, really to buy in to a program and truly believe in your coaches, what they're telling you. Slide three. One, two, three. Boom. So. My goal was, of course, uh, be in the UFC, but uh, in the beginning, I wasn't thinking about it. I was focused on the on the moment. I wasn't thinking about my life goals. I was a kid. I still a kid, but I was I was young and I wasn't really know what I want to do in my life. I don't really rest of training because I'm always training on life, on diet, on English, on money, on everything. It's a pretty important thing to do: learn English because more doors can be open if you are bilingual. You can be bigger. I think it's what Mexico needs right now, a new face of the sport. Someone they can feel proud of who is doing the things good as an athlete. I think it's what the Mexican people needs, and I want to be that face. My biggest goal now is be the champion of the world. Follow me, and then you're going to see new style. You're going to see a new guy. and. You're gonna see an impressive uh, way to fight. If you like crazy stuff, I'm the guy that you have to see.